there! I see you've stumbled upon my fabulous domain. I am Fuyoshi, a cosplayer and an aspiring fashion designer, and my channel is all about learning new and fun creative things. So, I am finally back from my long hiatus. I have achieved something that Hunter x Hunter could never achieve. So today, I will be talking about my Yamato cosplay that I made by selling my soul to the devil himself. I literally made this cosplay in like three days without any proper sleep, so I kind of forgot to film few parts of this cosplay since I was under a very big time crunch. I don't want to drag this intro for too long, so let us begin our mission for today. So let's first talk about Yamato's hair. I didn't have much time to get her wig and plus it was really expensive. So I decided to butcher my white wig that I was saving for a different cosplay. But who cares? I needed it in literally three days. So uh, the wig was kind of tangled so I brushed the wig first and I really never dyed wigs before so I just decided to manually color it with alcohol ink markers. It took me forever to color it but it turned out way better than I expected so yeah. Even after coloring it, it was still extremely smooth, soft, and silky. I thought it was gonna be sticky, but nope. For Yamato's horns, I did it completely without any measurements, just by assuming the shape this and physics of the horn. Time. So I had to cut out four of these pieces, and I used my heat gun to make it easier to reshape the foam before I added contact glue to stick it together, according to its corresponding notches. So then I just primed it with wood glue or fevicol or whatever you call it. And I put these two to dry on these very thin PVC pipes. I forgot to record coloring it since I was coloring it the night before Anime Expo and yes, I stayed up all night. And now for the most tedious and dreadful part that literally made me want to jump off the roof. I literally cannot believe how I made this part in such a short time. I'm so shook at my powers. So for Yamato's back ribbon part, I was inspired by a cosplayer on TikTok on how to make this. I'll leave her name right here or I'll leave the link in the description box below. So firstly, I cut out two pieces of this weird board. It wasn't completely wood, but it was hard. I don't know what it is. So I cut it out based on my back measurements. I don't know why I was showing my messy room here, but it was uh, it's really stressful to work in a very tiny space. I wish I made the board a bit bigger for my back since it was way smaller compared to the size of the ribbon. I was literally pulling the ribbon backwards. The board couldn't handle the gravity of the ribbon or whatever, I do not know, but it was a mess. If you guys are ever gonna make anything that you have to wear on your back, please make sure the back board, the main baseboard, is big enough to support the entire structure that you're gonna put on your back. And now, behold, my eternal suffering begins. I got two six feet long uh, PVC pipes, so I got my heat gun to reshape the PVC pipe and I swear to god I used the heat gun so much that the buttons got messed up. I don't know what happened to it but the heat gun had like three switches on, power level 1 and power level 2. So whenever I put on power level 2 the heat would come out as power level 1 and when I put on power level 1 the heat would come out as power level 2. I don't know if it makes sense but I have no idea how it got messed up like that. I mean it makes sense. I was literally using it continuously for like over six hours. I think it's justified. I had great memories with my heat gun. May it rest in peace. So after that, I drilled holes into the semi-wood panel I made earlier and I suffered trying to insert the screws here. I had very limited amount of screws and stuff so I had to figure out how to screw the belt on and the ribbon thingy on without using much screws and make sure it's stable and it does not fall off. And cutting off the excess part of the screws literally 
killed me. It was the worst. I literally do not want to go through that ever again, but I bet I have to. A few moments later. So I have to add hot glue at the end of the screw so it does not poke my back and it does not fall off or something. It's just a way to keep it stable. Excuse my cringy unicorn outfit here, but this is how it turned out. I needed to add another belt since the weight of the rings were dragging it down and I wanted it to stay close to my back. So now to cover the rings, I used a very long trail of purple and white fabric and I cut it out and made something like a tube. It's basically two long, huge pieces of rectangle sewn together. Sorry to pause this video, but I have something really important to say and that is if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below on what type of videos you want to see from me in the future. You may proceed with this video now. It took me over like two hours or something to sew all the long tube ribbon thingies. When I say I suffered a lot to make this costly, I mean it. It was hell. What you see in front of you is a whole sack of wool. Yes, I brought 3 kgs of wool from Dara's. Since the tubes were very long, I covered the tip of the PVC pipe with some cotton and so it can help me push the wool or cotton through the entire tube. This took me over six hours to complete to fill the wool, the, the tube thingies or whatever. It took me literally, it took me a long time. I literally finished this few hours before I was supposed to leave for the con. So for the waist part, I attached like buckles at the end and I twisted the rest of the tubes. And now it's time to cover the big boy. Yeah, boy. So this is how it looks after I covered one of the rings. And now for the actual costume, I just made a simple long pleated skirt. If you do not know how to make a pleated skirt, do check out my tutorial on how to make one. I'll leave a link in the description box below or in one of the top corners above in this video. That is the back part and that is the front part. Then I forgot to film this part, but for like the details on her top, I just painted them on with acrylic paint. Now for Yamato's weapon, I literally had no idea how to make it and I was running out of time. So I had to figure something out in 30 minutes and complete it. I literally had 70% of work left to do. So this happened literally the night before Anime Expo. I was rushing to make everything in like one night. I don't know why I did it, but I did. So I cut out a huge semicircle on the EVA foam. Then I attached the edges with contact glue so it turns into a cone shape. And I inserted like a PVC pipe inside it so it keeps the shape. I also heavily filled the inside up with cotton so the pipe stays inside without wobbling around. And I just covered the top with scrap fabric and taped it. I cut out these small cork sheet balls into half and attached them. It was very low effort. It did not look that great. At least it was completed before the event. That's all that mattered to me at that point. After that, I literally took a nap for 30 minutes. Then I got up to finish the costume again. There were so many things left to be fixed on the costume. I was suffering inside. It was a very stressful and tiring day. I do not know how I survived, but I did. So. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what type of tutorials or videos in general you want to see from me in the future. Yeah.